What's going on, guys? I'm Will with Gutter Fighting Secrets. Welcome back to another Warrior Wednesday, where we discuss relevant topics designed to make you a better and more efficient warrior. So today's topic is conversation. What we're going to be sitting down together today and talking about is how to fight a crazy person. <laughs> There's a lot of them out there, especially these days. How do we fight them? <laughs> well, we need to know, right? Because, you know, they might try to fight us. I'm going to tell you, like, straight up, I've had some crazy encounters with some crazy people. And um, sometimes I might have been the crazy guy. But usually it's one of those guys that just does not give a flying F you know what. They are they don't care about the law. They don't give a freaking about going to jail. They will kill you and not really think twice about it, at least not in that moment. They are people that definitely belong in some type of asylum. Um, they probably have experience in like the prison or jailhouse, almost certainly. And if they haven't yet, then they, they definitely will. Um, the type of people who will stab the fuck out of you without saying anything, right? Like these types of very dangerous, dangerous individuals are what we're talking about. How, Will, I get it. How do I fight them? <laughs> a lot of knees and elbows, uh, dirty tactics. No, like you don't want to fight these people. All right. That's like the main point here is <clears throat> whatever the fuck you can do to get away from that situation, do it. Um, a lot of the times, a lot of the times, this is going to take you swallowing your pride. I've had to do it myself. You know, I'm going to tell you a quick story and I will leave some of the details out. But <clears throat> one time I was um, in a city. I got involved in a situation with like an absolutely insane individual. Um, I happened to be armed at the time. I stayed within the confines of the law and let it be known to this individual that I was armed. He was unarmed um, as far as as far as a handgun goes, I'm pretty sure he had a box cutter in his pocket or something. Um, but within the confines of the law, <laughs> I'll say it like that, I let him know that I was armed. He didn't care. Um, he basically told me that he was totally fine with both of us dying at that particular time. Um, in fact, he didn't basically let me know. He literally said, we can both die tonight. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you. <laughs> and a lot of other things. Um I knew there was no winning that situation. Could I have shot him at that point? Well, um, I was getting damn near close to the point where I was legally justified to do so. Would I have won in any type of way? Absolutely not. Um, <clears throat> I had to swallow my pride and literally walk away. And if you guys watch some of my other videos where I tell you about like street smart tactics and like how to survive getting jumped and stuff, Usually, usually guys will give you an out, um, whether it's because they don't really want it or it's just because that's just the way it happens. I don't know. But basically, in this situation, he gave me the out. He was like, you can walk away or we can both die here tonight. And I was thinking in my head, dude, only one of us is going to die and it's not me. I've got a Glock 19 in my fucking waistline, dude. But like, I wasn't about to, I wasn't about to fucking have to do any violence for no fucking reason dude the guy gave me the out and i so i i took it and yeah like was i upset afterwards yes did i feel like fuck that dude yes but like was i happy i didn't have to like do any like violence absolutely um and you should be too every time that you get the opportunity to not do any violence um this is good <laughs> and this is your responsibility as a warrior and especially if the individual is crazy, right? Like if they're legitimately like like this, and we've all had run-ins with absolutely insane people. And there's a difference between like the criminally insane, insane, and then somebody who's temporarily insane with rage. All three of them are fucking annoying. Um, but <laughs> all three of them are like impaired. Um Maybe save the criminally insane in a different category because they're fucking scumbags. But like the other two, like you need to you need to have the compassion 
for your compassion to like let them let them be if you can. They will dig their own graves. I guarantee you, they will dig their own graves, but you don't need to be the one who's the undertaker in this in this case. If it does come down to it where you need to to use physical violence in order to go away from the situation, then you fight with everything that you fucking have and realize that it's either you or them. Now, this is the mentality that most civilians out there, um, <clears throat> including myself, have a hard, very hard time with. I mean, unless you've killed people before or unless you've come damn close or unless you've been like in situations in life that just lead you to this, <laughs> this like mentality, it's hard to flip that switch. And when you have to be willing to do that. I'm going to tell you this, though, when you're in a fight with an actual insane person, if you're not willing to go all the way, then you probably won't walk away um, unscathed. In fact, you might not walk away at all. Um, I'm not. Don't do that. Right. Don't ever get into a like a violent conflict because there's basically two ways it's going to go if you're living within the confines of a civilized or semi-civilized society. You're going to go to jail afterwards for a long time, um, potentially, or you're going to die or go to the hospital. Like either one of those situations is not good. If you get into a fight with an absolutely insane person, you're going to have to incapacitate them or they will incapacitate you. There's no other options. And unless you're like in the middle of the woods somewhere or in prison, even if you are in prison, even if, if you're unless you're like in the middle of a war zone or like in the middle of the woods somewhere where no one else sees you or no one else cares. After that conflict, it's going to be so brutal that like. You're not walking away. <laughs> so please, like, listen to this advice from me because I've been in situations where I've had to, like, I've had to make that tough choice between walking away or not walking away and losing my freedom, whether it's death, hospital, or prison. Um, none of those are good choices. Walking away and swallowing your pride, going home at the end of the night is always better, I promise you. Um, like, unless you are the law <laughs> and you're justified and, like, you're you're going to be able to, like, shoot them and then, like, go on vacation for a little while. All right. Well, then maybe, like, okay. All right. Cool. But, like, most of us don't have that, like, badge in the gun type of authority. And even if we do and we can, we can walk away, like, that's kind of your – you should do that. Violence is not a thing that you want in your life i promise you it's not and you know we come on here in gutter fighting secrets and we talk all about hand-to-hand -hand combat and like cool guy stuff fighting but like really what the goal is with me and with this channel besides selling products from time to time which i don't make enough money at so please give me some money if you can but like the real goal is to like convince people that like it's not what it seems in other other youtube channels certain dojos or gyms certain certainly the movie like it's not like that number one it's simpler okay number one it's just fucking simpler like develop the killer instinct develop like this inner rage to the point where like you can control it but if you need to use it you're, you're going to end somebody be willing to do that all the way um have some good techniques that will help you with that if you need it but then put a fucking leash on that and don't let it come out unless it needs to and but once it needs to it's not going to stop until okay that's it's not that difficult or complicated it just takes like a lot of hardship in life <laughs> or like a lot of experience with like violence in some fashion whether that's like fighting a lot on the streets which i don't recommend or like fighting a lot in the ring which is like also taxing <laughs> on your brain on your body uh whatever um but if you want to get to that point it you know there's only kind of one road that you need to travel um it just has side paths it's really that simple it's not it's not that difficult um 
you could spend fucking 20 years in the dojo, right? Doing karate, doing taekwondo, doing some other useless martial art, frankly speaking. And it's it's not going to prepare you for real combat. Not with a crazy person. Um, not with a hardened convict. Not with anybody who's experienced with violence. So avoid the fucking situation at all costs. And usually you will be able to. Don't start shit. Um, and there won't be shit, generally. And if somebody starts it with you, do everything in your power to not have to do anything about it. Do everything in your power to not finish it and walk away, right? Just, just, please, like, I'm begging you. I'm not begging. I don't beg anybody, but I'm, I'm asking you nicely. Like, don't, don't. Don't try to fight a crazy person. They will kill you. They will not think anything of it. And they will go home and they will sleep fine that night. If the shoe is on the other foot and you have to do something like that that's very violent and you're not very experienced with violence, you'll feel bad about it at some point. I guarantee it. And even if you never admit it to anybody, you'll feel bad about it. And you'll probably be in a lot of trouble. It's not worth it. So that's how you fight a crazy person. <laughs> uh I don't know if you were expecting like techniques. We got plenty of those, you know, check out our website too. We got um, hand to hand combat training videos, direct download. They will teach you how to win fights. Uh, it's not bullshit. It's not like kick pads all day and like practice and then walk around like you're tough. Like that doesn't work. What we teach you works. Check it out. Um, actually, just go buy it and you'll thank me later. I guarantee it. I get emails all the time. Will, thank you for making these products. They're freaking badass. I really actually learned something with this. You're welcome. All right. You're welcome. Until next time, guys, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense. And I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, mother flowers. Yeah.